Good morning year one and welcome to the second day of our maths lesson. So just like yesterday we're looking at measures and today we're looking at comparing tall with small. So before we start though we've got an exciting active counting video. So what grown-ups if you want to type in either count by tens or the YouTube address below then you'll be able to do this and kids if you want to dance with this year one you can because trust me in class the children will be dancing okay so once you've done that start the video again and we'll move on to the main part of today's learning okay so for this, this part of the lesson you're going to need whiteboards whiteboard pens pens or paper and you may want to get together some household objects to compare Okay, so to start off with today, we're looking at slightly different language. We're looking at tallest and we're looking at smallest. So what I want you to do is tell your grown-up which of these towers is the tallest and which is the smallest. And grown-ups, if your children aren't quite sure what tallest and smallest mean, have a little chat. And I'd use different people in your house and their heights to give your child an idea of what tallest and smallest means. Okay, so, which is the tallest? Well, the tallest is the same as the longest. So that's got to be this one. But let's just check by putting them into some kind of order. Now you can see them compared with each other, that the blue one is definitely the tallest. So, which is the smallest? Well, the smallest one has got to be the red one. Okay, so this time, exactly the same. But you're going to put them into order and you're going to start with the smallest. So if you tell your grown up what colours are in which order, starting with the smallest, and then start the video again and we'll see if you're right. So red, I'll put there. Then I think it's going to be green and then it's going to be blue. Now, at the moment, you can't really tell because we've not lined them up. So let's drop them down. So that they're all starting at the same height, starting from the same place. And yeah, I think we're right now. Red's definitely the smallest. Green is in the middle. And blue is the tallest. Okay, so that basically is what we're going to be doing today. Now, in class, we're going to be cutting out lots of different animals and comparing them, the tallest and the smallest. At home, you might prefer to simply choose some toys and compare them and grown-ups you don't really need to use the sheet but I will put it up in a moment so you can see what you're looking at is using this language is taller than or is smaller than and it's up to you whether you do it like we're going to do two-dimensionally by lying the animals down flat or do it standing them up it really doesn't matter so what we're looking at is is taller than so, which one of these is taller? The ostrich or the mouse? That's right. The ostrich is the taller. So, we'll move that into this box here. And that says, the ostrich is taller than... And we'll move the mouse here. It's taller than the mouse. And you can actually see by standing them next to each other, if you're not sure, that... The mouse is quite a bit shorter than the ostrich. OK, now this is the opposite way round. So this says is smaller than. So we're going to say that the mouse is smaller than the ostrich. Now what we're going to be doing in class is cutting out all these different animals and arranging them in this chart. Okay, but you may want to do your own stuff around the house and just use those phrases. It's completely up to you. These will be available to download as well, these charts, if you wish to, on the Teams video, on the Teams platform. Okay, so once you've done that, we do have a plenary for you. And here it is. I'm going to put some cubes and I want you to make your own cubes or say 
how many double the number of cubes are. And remember, doubling is adding the same number. So here's your first set of cubes. We've got two blue cubes. So how many cubes would I need to double that? So we've got two, and we're going to double that. So we want to have the same again. Let's do it in. Let's do it in red. Bring two underneath. So how many are there all together? Three, four. So how many cubes are there all together? That's right. There's four. Okay, here's another one. How many green cubes have I got? That's right, I've got three. So now I want you to double it. Let's double it with blue. So, whoops. Another three. So that's three plus three. So how many have we got all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. So double three is six. And then our last one, let's do red so it doesn't feel left out. We're going to put five red cubes out. One, two, three, four, Five, so we've got five cubes. How many do we need to add to that to double it? That's right, we need another five. So let's add one, two, three, four, five. So how many have we got all together? Let's count them. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So double 5 is 10. And that is the end of today's lesson.